What is up guys, it's Swimmer here, and the Go Battle League is back. I am very excited. Um, did a couple battles uh, last night just to get myself sort of um, into it. It was definitely a little bit rusty, uh, and but my battles went a little bit better today. Only did one set, but uh, it at least was a winning set. Still feeling uh, a little bit of rust there and need to um, improve my counting on the fast moves again and uh, the timing and so forth, but uh, happy to have Go Battle League back, so let's go ahead and get right into the videos. Uh, so using this uh, same team that we were running with, um, again, just want to sort of get back into it uh, using a team that's familiar to me, so um, hopefully we can have some good success with this before we start doing a bit of an experimentation. Okay, so here we take an Escavalier on the lead. Uh, and this is actually... Escavalier is not a great matchup for us, but as long as we successfully shield one Megahorn, uh, we can actually beat it going straight Future Sight. Um, so that's just... Uh, and that's in the one shield, so even if it shields the next one... Now, I am going to actually bait, because they almost always shield the second Future Sight. Uh, so may as well um, just use the Moonblast... Uh, and then, gonna let this Megahorn hit me here, uh, and we will be able to outpace them to the future site. We're having a little bit of lag there, uh, but they actually switch out, uh, and I I should have saved the uh, future site. It was definitely a misplay. I saw them switch out. I was just um, reacting a little instinctively, trying to make sure I got off the damage before Cecilia fainted, but given it was Red Steel, there was really no um, rush. Uh, so now we're going to bring in our uh, Swampert, though, and he should be able to clean up this Registeel without too much difficulty. Uh, so able to get to the Earthquake and take it out. Uh, it is a Dragon Breath Keratina coming in, so that's not ideal for us, but we're going to be able to go for another Earthquake here, and that's going to deal quite a lot of damage. Um, was really glad to get off that Earthquake, because now we can come in with Obstagoon, and it should be fairly safe for us to... Um, get off some nice flashes here. So not going to shield. Uh, definitely need to save, save my shield for that um, Escavalier. Uh, and really just trying to get to that Night Slash as quickly as I can. Going to shield. This Drill Run would do more damage than anything else. Uh, and I'm hoping that they don't shield this Night Slash because the counter damage is going to add up very quickly. And they don't. So that's great. Uh, and actually we got the booster there. So that's really good. They're going to shield this Night Slash. Um, but we're going to be able to get to another one before going down to Dragon Breath and uh, Dragon Claw. Uh, so that's going to be enough to take it, the Giratina. I think it would have been enough even if we didn't get the boost. Uh, so this is uh, good news for us. So this Night Slash will take out the Giratina, and that will be a GG. We're able to uh, win the first match there. Um, and... Even though it was sort of a, a neutral league lead and possibly even a lost lead, um, we were able to uh, sort of come back from that. Yeah, so just aired out a finding match. Try again. And so here we catch a Polyrath on the lead. This is obviously really, really good for us. Uh, gonna stay in this match as long as they want to, so uh, I'm expecting them to try and swap on the charge move, which is totally fine. Uh, they throw the ice punch, no need to shield. Uh, gonna build up as much energy as I can. They swap into Charizard uh, on the charge move quite nicely, uh, but that's fine. I'm gonna go into Swampert. Um, Swampert would need a little bit of extra damage on top of the mud slaps uh, and a hydro cannon to KO the Charizard, anyways, so landing the moon blast is no big deal. Uh, so going for Hydro Cannon here, so we'll probably take out Charizard. Yeah, I didn't imagine they'd want to shield that. Uh, Polyrath is going to be coming back in. Um, not going to shield. I uh, think we should still be able to get to an Earthquake. Uh, and we do get to an Earthquake um, on this Polyrath, so this is really going to be pressuring shields. Uh, and we do get a shield. That's really good for us. So we can take this shield advantage and then go back into Cresselia. Um 
and we even have some residual energy on this Cresselia. So not going to shield. Uh, nothing Polyrath has even hurts Cresselia a little bit. So even double Ice Punch, it's no reason to be concerned. Uh, and then they're likely going to try and switch out, uh, but we are able to get off the Moonblast before they do. Uh, so this gets another shield. That's really good for us. We've still got two shields left, and it is a Shadow Claw Giratina coming back. I wanted to wait and see what the move set was before swapping out, uh, because if it was Dragon Claw, uh, or sorry, Dragon Breath, I was going to soften it up with a um, Moonblast. But Shadow Claw, uh, very swift, safe to bring Obstagoon in, uh, and my opponent goes ahead and surrenders because there's really uh, no win condition for them. Uh, Cresselia still had some loaded energy, and um, Obstacle is triple resisting those Shadow Claws, so able to take that second match as well. Looking pretty good uh, so far. Uh, and then in this third match, we come up against Registeel on the lead. So this isn't great. Uh, we are going to build up to a Moonblast and then swap out. Uh, and so that's going to let us soak this Flash Cannon onto Cresselia. Uh, so we should enter with neutral energy with Obstagoon, um, and they swap out into Clefable. So this is not very good for us. Uh, we are going to go for the gunk shot as quick as we can. Um, however, they do shield. We really needed them to not shield that, uh, because we're going to end up being stuck with um, Cresselia against Registeel likely now. So springing in uh, Cresselia, going for that Moonblast as quick as we can, hoping for the attack debuff. Uh, we don't get it, and they have their own Moonblast coming in here. At least I'm guessing it will be a Moonblast. It is. Uh, so that actually deals quite a bit of damage. Um, and we're able to get to another one to take them out. Uh, but their Registeel is still very healthy, and they've got another Pokemon in the back. So this isn't looking very good for us. We're going to swap into Swampert to make sure that we don't fall behind on energy. Going to shield... Um, uh, the Focus Blast would deal quite a lot of damage, uh, and then it's a Dragon Jet Breath Giraffe in the back. So we don't really have any play here. Uh, gonna go for the Earthquake. Um, they still have a shield, so I'm really hoping to get that shield. Gonna have to uh, shield a Dragon Claw, uh, because it would start to wear me down quite quickly. Holding up just about to the Earthquake, and then going for the Hydro Cannon. Really hoping to get that last shield, but I don't know if we're gonna get it. We don't get that last shield. Uh, probably should have just gone straight for the Earthquake. That was probably uh, my only chance, and then just sack swap the um, Cresselia. Uh, but going to be able to take out this Kiratna, and this Registeel is still almost full health, so I don't think that even would have been enough, even if we had managed to do that. So, uh, good game by my opponent. Uh, definitely lost lead very hard uh, coming into the Registeel, um, and then with a Clefable on the uh, switch into my Obstagoon. Uh, really, as long as they shield the Gunshot, um, that's pretty much a GG after that point. There's not really any way, any other way to play that, I don't think. Alright, so we catch another Registeel on the lead here, so this is not good for us, uh, but we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. Um, Flash Cannon coming in here, uh, happy to soak this onto Cresselia, uh, and then bring in the Obstagoon. Uh, and my opponent does a very fast switch into Swampert, uh, so we're going to go for uh, the Night Slashes here, hoping to get the boost. Uh, want to get the Night Slashes off as quick as possible. Uh, just in case we do, because the increased counter damage will be, make a big difference. Going to shield this first Hydro Cannon. They've definitely built up a fair bit of extra energy. Uh, so, going to Night Slash, expecting them to shield here, um, and they do. Uh, and they're going to get to another Hydro Cannon very quickly, uh, and we're just going to let this one come through. Um, I want to encourage them to no-shield this next Night Slash, um, because I really want to win switch advantage. And they do no shield. So this is pretty good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and shield to make sure that I do win that switch advantage. Uh, and then they're going to likely come back in with Registeel. Yep, yeah, here comes the Registeel. Going for the Night Slash. Uh, want to just get as much damage as I can because I know Registeel will take me out with one charge move. And we got the boost, but unfortunately we only get one counter off with it. 
Uh, so the flash cannon comes through to take us out, and then we're going straight into Swampert. And then we are going to swap, uh, as they swap into Cresselia, uh, drop the Moonblast here, really hoping that we can get the first debuff, um, and going for another Moonblast, uh, but they are able to just barely beat us to it. Uh, and we actually get the debuff here. So that is pretty tough. I'm not sure if uh, we can come back from that. Uh, because we are not going to be dealing enough damage to this Cresselia now with our Moon Blasts. Um, so we're we're just going to be getting more and more behind uh, throughout this match, and I can't switch out to reset the debuff yet. Uh, so I can switch out now. Um, really want to try and get another uh, Moon Blast onto this Cresselia first. However, um, they actually swap into high. Uh, Registeel, which is a nice play by them. Uh, we do get the debuff. Uh, I was really hoping to land that um, Moonblast onto the Cresselia so that it was, it was within Hydro Cannon range, uh, but they get the Focus Blast through. We're going through for a Hydro Cannon ourselves. This isn't qu quite going to take it out, but it will let us farm down, uh, which is really important for us. So we have basically two Hydro Cannons. We're going to go for the Hydro Cannon uh, right away on this Cresselia. This will be getting the shield, uh, but they likely have a Moonblast stored, um, and that will be enough to take us out. Oh, and actually it's a Grass Knot stored, so uh, there is really no no way we could have won that. Our switch timer wasn't up yet, so. Uh, good match by my opponent. Uh, definitely um, was in very tough uh, after they got the debuff on my Cresselia. So here we catch another great league lead with Polyrath, uh, so dropping a couple fast attacks here, which isn't great. Uh, they bring in their Registeel. I'm going to go into my Swampert uh, and going to shield this first uh, charge move. Um, probably a Focus Blast. I was quite slow on the switch there, actually. Uh, and then I'm going to build up to the Earthquake and uh, go for the Hydro Cannon, hoping that to um, get them to max shields. Uh, however, they do not. Uh, so at this point, I'm just going to um, probably take them out straight with Hydro Cannons. Uh, could go for an Earthquake. Really want to try and get a shield off them, though, which is why I'm still going for more Hydro Cannons. Um, Swampert wins the matchup either way, going straight Hydro Cannon or going for um, an Earthquake. Uh, so totally fine. Happy to take it out. Um, Glad to just let my, to keep switch advantage and um, come back in with Cresselia against this Polyrath. Able to get to a Moonblast right away, so this is going to force them to shield or deal a lot of damage. Uh, and they swap into Obstacle, so I'm going to swap as right away as well. I don't want to fall behind on energy, and I definitely want to save my Cresselia for that Polyrath. Uh, going for a Night Slash here. Uh, not going to shield. I want to save my shields for um, that Cresselia. Uh, and they are able to get to another charge move, hoping this is another Night Slash. Uh, but it is, in fact, a cross shot. So uh, not great for us. Uh, that does take us out. So we're going to go for Moonblast. Uh, this is going to likely get their shield. I'm sure they want to get off as many Night Slashes as they can with the Obstacoon. Uh, we are going to shield this Night Slash. It would do more damage than anything Polyrath has. So I'm going to go ahead and shield. Um, expecting them to get off another Night Slash, but they actually swap back into Polyrath, which is uh, pretty good for us, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to just charge up as much energy as we uh, can, basically, and then uh, go for Future Sight. Future Sight is not quite going to take out that Polyrath, and I'm going to be able to farm it down completely. Uh, to have a Moon Blast ready for when the Obstacle Moon comes back in. So that's going to be really good for us. Uh, so able to take it out. Moon Blast is ready. Going to Moon Blast this Obstacle Moon as soon as it comes back in. And this is going to take out the Obstacle Moon. Uh, I think we had enough health to survive a Night Slash anyways. Uh, but having that Moon Blast ready uh, is definitely better. So able to go three of five, not a great set, but uh, the ones that we lost, we lost to um, those Registeel in the lead. Uh, so that's always a, a tough to uh, tough to come back from. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. And I'm very glad that PvP is back.